Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing hippuric acid. Hippuric acid is an acyl glycine which is found as a normal constituent in urine. Increased levels of hippuric acid is seen when there is increased consumption of phenolic compounds like fruit juices and wine. These phenolic compounds get oxidized to benzoic acid and then get converted to hippuric acid and is excreted through urine. It can be also sometimes increased in case of toluene poisoning. These are the materials required for this synthesis. Glycine, benzoyl chloride, sodium hydroxide and concentrated hydrochloric acid. The principle behind this experiment is a simple benzoylation reaction. First of all, we weigh out the compounds required. 1 gram of glycine is weighed out. Now we weigh out 2.5 gram of sodium hydroxide here. Actually, we should weigh out the appropriate amount of sodium hydroxide required to make a 10% solution. If you want 100 ml solution, just add 10 grams of sodium hydroxide to 100 ml of water. But here I only want a very few ml so I decided to scale it down to 25 ml. So that would be 2.5 grams of sodium hydroxide. Next we take a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask and transfer the already weighed 1 gram of glycine into it. Glycine is actually a white crystalline solid as you can see here. Now I add just 10 ml of the previously prepared 10% sodium hydroxide solution into the glycine. After that, we swirl the flask and dissolve the glycine in sodium hydroxide solution. Now we have to add the benzoyl chloride. Benzoyl chloride as you know is extremely irritating to the nose, throat and eye. So do this in a fume hood or outside in a well ventilated area. I am using a glass syringe to transfer exactly 1.5 milliliters of benzoyl chloride into the Erlenmeyer flask containing our glycine. The flask gets very hot on addition of the benzoyl chloride. After adding the benzoyl chloride, we have to continuously shake the flask to mix the contents very well. The shaking of the flask should be done continuously for a period of 10 minutes until the benzoyl chloride completely reacts with glycine. You can actually make out that by noticing the disappearance of oily droplets from the flask. That is, the contents of the flask will become clear as you can see. Now, after 10 minutes of shaking, we pour the contents of the flask to about 180 milliliters of ice called distilled water with continuous stirring with the glass stirring rod. Now as you know that the solution will be basic because of the presence of sodium hydroxide. So, I will now add few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid to make the solution acidic. You can actually test whether the solution is acidic or not by dipping a red litmus paper and you can see that it has not turned blue which means the solution is now acidic. Now we will keep the beaker undisturbed for 5 to 10 minutes and you can notice that beautiful crystals of hippuric acid has separated out from the solution and is now slowly settling down. After about 5 minutes you can see the crystals which have separated has settled down to the bottom of the beaker. Now we filter the solution and collect the crude crystals of hippuric acid. 
After filtration, we get the crude hippuric acid as you can see here. After drying that, we have this crystals of hippuric acid. Now we have to purify it. It can be easily purified by recrystallizing it from hot water. Hippuric acid is sparingly soluble in cold water but extremely soluble in hot water. So after dissolving it in hot water on slowly cooling, you can see that beautiful needle shaped crystals of hippuric acid starts to separate from the solution. After 2 to 3 hours, you can see the needle shaped crystals of hippuric acid has separated out. Now we decan the supernatant solution and dry the crystals which have separated out. And this is the final pure product, the hippuric acid. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell. And if you want to join my discord server, the link to that is provided in the description.